Next up, ladies and gentlemen, he is one of the regulars of the show, and he's awesome every time. We'll give it up, make him feel welcome once again. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Todd Stubbler. Or just sit there, that's fine. <laughs> you guys have fun so far? Oh, excellent. Uh, I did that thing the other day where you go to the grocery store and you buy a product and you bring it home and you don't realize what it is until you get it home and it is not what you wanted. So I, bought the, uh, I just bought some shower soap, I bought some of the liquid shower soap and when I got it home, I didn't really read the label carefully and it's that exfoliating soap. So it's got like the little grit in it that you wash. It's like, it's like washing your body with beach sand. It's like, ah, yeah, that feels horrifying. It's terrible. I'm trying to wash with this stuff and all I could equate it to was like, if you go to the beach and then you go into the bathroom and you got to change and you take your stuff off and you got, you know, corn dog situation going on down there. And then you realize, oh, I don't have a towel. I got this shirt. And then you're just kind of, eh, eh, just scraping as you try to wipe it off. And you're eyeballing that toilet water like, oh, I could. I cannot. <laughs> I'm going home, Sandy. All right. So uh, speaking of dating, um, Transitions are for wusses. Um, <laughs> I, I came up with an idea. Uh, my friends and I uh, were discussing something the other day. We we're talking about, you know, you get the creepy guys that try to hit on you and you're trying to blow them off, but you don't want to be too bad. I've decided there needs to be a rule. You need to come up with a rule for the ladies to when the guy comes up and he's like, hey, baby. And, and you, just, you just can't. You just can't do it. I've decided we're going to go back to our childhoods. And the rule is, not it. That's it. Nice and simple. Every, as long as everybody follows the rules, it's all good. Hi, baby. What are you doing? Where are you from? Not it. All right. Thank you very much. Good night. Okay. As long as you follow the rules, all is well. Until you got super creepo. Oh, hey, baby. How you doing? Not it. Oh, come on, baby. You know, not it. That way, when the cop arrives, ma'am, did you clearly say not it? Yeah, it's on my phone. I said it. Look, it's right here. All right, sir. Here you go. Ah! <laughs> not it. Although it would kind of suck to walk into a bar, hey everybody, not it, not it, not it, not it, not it. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, I have a teenager in my house now. Oh, 13. All of 13. Yeah, sorry, so am I. Yeah, all of 13. And uh, his, if you ask him to do something, Give him a job, a task, a chore. There are exactly two responses to said chore. They are as follows. I need you to wash the dishes. Uh. Uh. Or, can you wash that stuff for me? Oh! What? Oh. <laughs> That's it. That's the only two responses. Never, yes! Oh, I'd love to do that for you. Nope, not happening. And every time you ask him to do something, it's like I've asked him to chop the head off a neighbor. It's just like, can you chop the head? No! What? I've been waiting because everything ends in U-H. Can you do this for me? Daddy! Uh, I don't want to. Uh, uh, I hate the dishes. Uh, uh, and then you try to do it back and it doesn't really fly. Just pick it up. Uh, just do it. Uh, stop it, daddy. Stop it. Duh. <laughs> and so I got a 13-year-old at home. And most of the people I work with are between teens and millennials. Somewhere in that bridge. So I found that I've reached an age 
where I cannot use my cool words and I cannot use their cool words. I have no cool words. I was doing something the other day and my son came in. He's like, hey, I got an A on this test. I'm like, bitchin'. Daddy, no one says bitchin'. Fine. And then I was at work, and I'm like, uh, they said, oh, you went to that concert last week, how was it? It was pretty lit. Oh! <laughs> You're old. Can't say lit. It was crunk. I don't know. Ew. You can't say crunk. What do I say? Do I need new words? <laughs> where, do I, where do I go with this? I don't know. Um, at... Disneyland, we have, are there any pass holders here? Annual pass holders? Look at them, look at them all, raising their hands. And there are three kinds of pass holders. Three kinds. Got your great pass holders. I'm sure most of you are great and awesome. And then you've got your creeper pass holders. And then you've got your pass holders. They exist, and guess what? You all have names. You don't know them, but you got names. Oh, great. Mr. Excitement is here today. Oh, yeah. Mr. Excitement, Mr. Tuesday, Mad Margaret. There you go. Robin Hood, Richard, the Creeper, Fat Alice. Uh, it's truth. Uh, we, uh, Alice the Blue Lip Witch. That was one. That was a good one. Uh, they exist. She had blue lips. What do you want? She looked like a witch. <laughs> She's creepy. <laughs> and it's not so much, and the creepers, the worst part about the creepers is it's not so much that, I mean, they're creepy. They're just like, hey. And it's when they're saying, like, is, is Shirley working today? <laughs> <laughs> so much of that, it's, I saw on her schedule, she works at Car Cordine Wagon on Tuesday. You saw her schedule? Who are you? How do you know that? Well, I've been writing it down. She normally does the Cordine Wagon, she here? Not it! <laughs> Not it. Thank you very much, you guys. Have a great evening. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Todd Sutler. Give it up for him. Don't actually go anywhere, Todd. Thank you.